Well guys, it's that time of year when hundreds of thousands of small telescopes will be shipping all over the country. Uh, for a lot of people, especially young people, kids will be getting their first telescope for Christmas. Now, uh, a lot of people might think that a small telescope is not very powerful or is not enough to really get someone really started in astronomy, but uh, quite to the contrary, it's a small telescope that got everyone uh, started in astronomy. It's the small telescope that had the power to spark the imagination of a lot of people, scientists, astronomers, professional astronomers, amateur astronomers today, uh, to really explore the skies around them as kids. This is in fact my small telescope when I started out. It's a uh, 40 millimeter objective and this is about the same size as Galileo's telescope and we know what he did. He changed the whole uh, scientific world with his observations of the moon and planets and I'll tell you this, my small telescope, and this is one from 1970, um, uh, has much better optics than Galileo's telescopes ever did. Uh, but uh, his telescope basically had two lenses, and it's kind of fun. You can take any two uh, lenses and set, separate them just right, and you can see images of something far away uh, that's got, that is brighter and has more detail than you can with your own eyes. And that's how the small telescope or any telescope works. I love small telescopes and there's a lot of reasons why. You know, I got my first telescope as a kid. It was a small instrument. Most of my friends that are, are into astronomy today uh, had their start with a small telescope and they think of it fondly. I'm so happy that I still have one just like the one I had when I was 10 years old. But today's small telescopes are amazing. There's been a lot of improvements. This one right here is one that my company makes. Uh, this is called the Explore One Gemini model, and it's a 70 millimeter refractor. It comes with, really important, it comes with inch and a quarter eyepieces. This is a Plossil eyepiece right here. It has an easy to use red dot finder. It has slow motion controls. You know, I wish that my first uh, uh, small telescope, you can see it just has this little uh, uh, adjustment, and it, it got actually pretty wiggly and wobbly, but I still made it work. But this is just so much more comfortable. A diagonal mirror to make it comfortable to look in the eyepiece. And comfort is what it's all about. You know, if Galileo is alive today and could use a telescope like this, he would be blown away. And so will you. Um, you know, if uh, you get out to where it's dark, uh, you can see lots of deep sky objects. It's actually quite surprising what you can do with a small instrument. I use this very 70 millimeter refractor right here to look at the Whirlpool Galaxy from the Texas Star Party. And it was absolutely amazing. I was startled to see how much detail I could see. So you can see across millions of light years in space, you know, each light year is 5.9 trillion miles. Uh, the the uh, Whirlpool Galaxy is over 30 million light years away. So it is stunning and uh, amazing what you can see. So. Get out that small telescope that you might have in the attic or garage if, you, if you've got one that uh, you already have. Um, and if you don't already have one, getting one is very, very inexpensive and uh, uh, they are easy to use. And if you need more information, I'm gonna put a link about this small telescope uh, in this posting, but uh, there's lots of them out there by all kinds of manufacturers and you'd be surprised how good the views can be.